Hey everyone, and welcome to our early look PvP healer tier list for the up and coming expansion, Shadowlands. This tier list has been put together using our expert opinions and rank one consultants based off of early beta arena gameplay and patch notes. This means a lot of what we see may be subject to change. What this tier list will offer though is a first look at what's doing well and why when it comes to PvP. We will then be releasing a more solidified tier list shortly after the release of Shadowlands once we have finalized patch notes and tuning. Before we get started though, if you're as bored of BFA as we are and excited for Shadowlands, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for more up-to-date Shadowlands content in the future. For this tier list, we're going to be placing our healers into four tiers, ranging from our lowest tier, C, up to our strongest, S. Kicking things off, we have our lowest tier, and our first addition to this is going to be a healer that's been doing great in recent times, and that's Holy Paladin. Holy Paladin has achieved its stature in BFA down to a lot of borrowed power, vision of perfection, ineffable truth, even damage gained from Azerite traits. Of course, in Shadowlands, this is all being removed. Holy Paladin as a whole is receiving a mini overhaul, gaining their old resource Holy Power back, and to compensate have received some major nerfs to Infusion of Light, no longer increasing the speed at which you cast Holy Light. With their new resource, Holy Paladins are able to cast Word of Glory, an instant heal with no mana cost. While this in itself is very strong, Holy Paladins have a lot of other issues right now. Short cooldown wings and consistent defensives from Ineffable Truth were what made Paladin stand out. With this removed and numbers remaining relatively the same, it's left Holy Paladin being extremely weak in PvP. They're extremely vulnerable to CC, lack any consistent healing going out while CC'd, and rely so much on their long cooldowns in order to survive. Although Paladin has received some cool abilities back to their kit such as Hammer of Wrath, Shield of Righteousness, and even Turn Evil, their only saving grace at the moment is their Concentration Aura, which reduces the effectiveness of interrupts and silences, making them very good for caster cleaves who can also help soak interrupts. Plus, the addition of Saved by the Light, an old favorite which gives Paladins an extra cooldown to rely on. The Necrolord Covenant and such legendaries as Inflorescence of the Sunwell will help aid Paladin's weak throughput though, and with the right tuning, could jump up a lot higher on this list. But for now, the lack of secondary stats, especially crit, and of course the loss of Ineffable Truth, means Paladin is set to suffer a fall from Light's Grace. Also squeezing into our final tier, we have the BFA 2v2 King's Holy Priests. Sadly, Shadowlands is shaping up to be another expansion where Disc will reign supreme. Holy Priests lack the damage, strong absorbs, and DRs that its Disc counterparts bring. Apart from a few additions like Mind Blast, Power Word Shield, Shadow Word Pain, and Shadow Word Death to avoid CC, which will for sure push Holy in the right direction. But sadly, Holy is set to be relatively the same in terms of design when it comes to healing, a design which is inherently flawed for PvP. Having a lot of its power tied into its holy words and greater heal means holy priests rely too much on hard casting. And without the possibility of reaching high levels of haste anymore, it's just not going to cut it. There are some new PvP talents coming in the form of Cardinal Mending and Divine Ascension to help with this, and even the addition of Thought Steel giving Holy some added CC if facing a mage or warlock. Overall, Holy in 3v3 will be in a lot better of a position than they were in Shadowlands right now but sadly are nothing compared to the utility, healing, and damage that Disc can bring. Also, we don't expect Holy to dominate the 2v2 ladder as they do in BFA. The lack of secondary stats and unreachable levels of haste just means they won't have the same dynamic that they do in current day. But nonetheless, this remains to be a cool and niche spec, especially with legendaries like this, allowing the priest to have essentially two lives. All right, jumping up to our B tier, our first addition is going to be the Restoration Shaman. Resto Shaman's toolkit and playstyle remain relatively the same to that of BFA, having strong casted heals with powerful mastery and lots of utility with grounding, shear, and various other totems. But the changes that Resto Shaman did receive hurt them when it comes to PvP. Tidal Waves has seen a nerf when used with Healing Wave, now only reducing the casting time by 10% instead of 20. This will go towards not only hurting their casted heals, something they heavily rely on, but also reducing their mana efficiency, forcing you to have to spend more mana on healing surge. Although this is slightly balanced out with tools like Mana Tide Totem and Water Shield making a return. Sadly though, Restoration Shaman is just set to be very similar to what it was in BFA, but with one big loss that is really going to hurt them no longer having pack spirit. This is something that shamans relied heavily on for self-sufficiency, 
with shamans currently finding themselves kitted for healing melee cleaves due to how self-sufficient they are, and they no longer have that niche and will potentially lose their place in the meta. Despite new additions like Surge of Earth, most of their new tools are kitted around PvE healing, and shamans sadly lack anything new for PvP. What has kept Dresto Shamans inside our B tier, though, is their new legendary, Earthen Harmony. This combined with tools like Earthen Wall Totem, Spirit Link, and their relatively strong casted heals, compiled with the rest of their kit, means Shamans will still remain to be a middle-of-the-pack healer. Also, while charging into our B tier, we have the other Restoration spec, Druids. Surprisingly, Resto Druids are set to look very strong, having some of the best new additions of any other class. The return of tools like Heart of the Wild and new and improved affinities help give Druids that offensive prowess. Having the option to pick up Maim or Incapacitating Roar will make landing high-impact CC a lot easier. Combined with the insane damage output they're capable of with Heart of the Wild means honestly their overall kit is looking insane. I mean, Overgrowth is now a talent, Nature's Swiftness is returning, it's all looking good. So. What's holding them back? Why are they in the B tier? Well, going off of beta currently, Resto Druids are severely lacking on the defensive side of things. With the meta currently looking to be incredibly bursty, Resto Druid not only struggles to survive, but also heal through the pressure that some classes are capable of putting out. Basing this tier list solely off of 3v3, we cannot justify putting them higher, despite their overloaded kit right now. That being said, expect Druids to be the dominant healer in 2v2 going forward. Alright, that's going to be it for our first two tiers. Moving up next, we have the A tier, and right away, we're going to see Mistweaver Monks. Mistweaver is honestly receiving the least changes out of any healer, receiving only Touch of Death, Spell Harm, and Invoke Yulon. Pretty much everything else is remaining the same as it was in BFA. If you've played current patch, you would know how strong they are, so this isn't a bad thing. Mistweavers are capable of pumping out some of the highest healing per second out of any healing class, which in a very burst-filled expansion, which Shadowlands is looking to be, is a recipe for success. And this is only looking to be improved upon with legendaries like Tear of Mourning. Their kit in general will just remain to be strong, High mobility, a powerful external in Life Cocoon and Instant CC makes them great for healing almost any comp, but we expect to see Mistweavers being the staple double melee cleave healer. Their only real downside is looking to be their lack of offensive prowess and damage, although Covenants and Legendaries can help aid with this if you prefer more of a fist weaving playstyle. Nevertheless, Monks are looking and will remain to be one of the best healers going into Shadowlands. This brings us nicely to our S tier, which has one spec, a spec that definitely doesn't lack in the offensive and damage department, Discipline Priests. Disc are on track to be without a doubt the strongest healer in Shadowlands. As we know from BFA, Disc Priests have a very unique way of healing utilizing damage to heal via atonement. This concept is only getting stronger in Shadowlands, with the addition of Mind Blast, Shadow Word Death, and powerful Covenants plus Legendaries to improve upon your damage. Maintaining relatively the same kit and playstyle of BFA, Discipline's high passive throughput coming from their dots, burst healing from Shadowmen, and great CC with Psychic Scream and Mind Control. But now with new additions like Thought Steal adding to an already overloaded kit, which will give Disc Priest the ability to steal CCs like Polymorph, a Warlock Sphere, and some other cool abilities. Strong offensive utility like Dark Archangel and newly added Power Infusion make them perfect for healing any setup composition. Their only real weakness is being trained due to their lack of mobility. But if you want a healer capable of strong healing, high damage, and great utility, Disc Priest is set up to be all of that and more. All right, everyone, that's it for our Shadowlands 3v3 Arena tier list. Of course, as mentioned, this is entirely based off of beta gameplay and our expert opinions. We will be releasing an up-to-date tier list once patch notes are finalized. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more up-to-date content for Shadowlands going forward. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.